Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles in Colonel Correct, so let's get the show on the road! Previously, I have actually done some behemoth or Bahamut ass kicking, so we're gonna continue that on right now. Of gigantic purple mine uh monsters? Yeah. <laughs> monsters, monsters. So if I attack this guy, this big old behemoth, he's gonna see me, and I think that's I think that's a new monster I see there. The reason why I ran all the way over here because this behemoth can't get me over here, so thank goodness that this tree that this tree is actually strategically placed for my convenience and not the monsters. I like that very much. So ha 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 look at you, you can't even get me. So let's just let's just do this guy a favor and take him out with Thundera, which I recently learned that you can take out these monsters very easily with thunder spells. So has yeah awesome. These guys are very weak against them. If you're a little too low, you're going to have one tough time because you may not be very good at magic casting. As for Hayaku, she's pretty good at magic casting, I can say that much. Diamond Ore, so there is your other proof that Diamond Ore and Ore Chalcum can be both collected here by the same mon from the same monster. These guys are prime targets for making some diamond armor, so if you're up for some diamond armor, make sure to look for it immediately from these guys. Okay, now... It's going to freeze me, isn't it? I hate these monsters. I don't like them. And man, oh man! Gotta change the gravity because I don't feel like hitting this guy 12 times. I think that's his HP right now. It's, I think it's a 12. I could be wrong, but who knows? So one, two, three, and uh, three more shots should kill this guy. Just as suspected. Iron. Well, I don't need any iron, but uh, who knows? I could have used this one anytime soon. And I think we're almost at the end here, guys. I think we're almost done with all this turmoil. We just need to take out a couple more enemies, and we are to the zombie dragon in this lair. Apparently, in a story depicted by this, uh, apparently a fan story, saying that there was a dragon zombie inside of a giant cave, but in this case, it's outside. But it doesn't really matter, so... It's just part of a little story that I just read online. And we, this is always the... How did you reach me? I have no idea. But these guys should be easy, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Could be wrong. I am actually kind of afraid to see how many of these little guys will spawn off next to the dragon. So, here we are at Zombie Dragon's front. So, um... Hmm. What should I equip? What should I equip? I don't know. I'm not sure about his uh, his abilities to use. I know Focus... I know the Storm Sash will not be useful here, so I need to... I, need, I definitely need to make some more Ice Resistance, resistance spells. Time Mail would not be used here, so I can't use, um, well, I could probably use Eternal Mail, but even then, that doesn't really matter, because this boss doesn't cast any, any, uh, status problems with relating to, uh, slow and stuff, sorry. And I can use, I can use the Blue Masanga, I can resist one of his attacks. And I think would be, I, what would be wise is just to use Frost Badge, but then again, I'm not too sure, so I'll use Speed Charm instead, which kind of like, maybe it's like, what, why'd you ask us in the first place? So, alright, now we're ready, and we're ready to fight this guy. I don't know if Gravity, I don't know if Gravity and, tan and Tangent with Holy will work well on this guy, so let's see, and just try some new stuff. In this corner lies Dragon Zombie. He only has one enemy this time. That's great. Holy cow. Gravity is here for these guys because they're jerks and I don't like them. Oh, shoot. There we go. There we go. That was a close one. <laughs> that was really a close one. It was, it was actually pretty difficult to do that. Wow. Oh, he only does, he only does a whole heart of damage, so I'm pretty much uh, defensed up in this case. Alright, now let's get ready to take this guy out. First Holy! This guy is again the Ethereal Boss who cannot be damaged normally. You have to cast Holy on this guy first. I casted uh, Gravity and nothing really happened, so we'll just stick with Holy for now until he gets close to us and we can start beating him up physically. Okay, just double checking. You know, I don't want to get hit by this guy. And Holy will allow us to damage Holy. Last time, I remember the first time I fought this guy. It was the stupidest way possible because I didn't know how to fight this guy. I just cast a fire Riga in one small corner, and um, yeah, just kept on doing one damage the whole time, which is really annoying. Okay, now you're going down, buddy. You can't deny it. You are going down, my friend, my dragon friend. Oh, he's actually offering up his health right now. Awesome. 
And that was easy, wow! This guy is a piece of cake! <laughs> this guy was easy! I, 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 well, this is what happens if you do some... If you do actually prepare for this guy. If you do prepare for him, then, you know, he's pretty easy. The first time around, I don't know, it's kind of tough the first time around. But this time, he was, you know, kind of easy for me, but... Let's see on the third cycle, which I'll be skipping everything I'm going to crack, except for the boss. I may show off some of the toads in there that, ca that cast Blizzica, which is just hilariously stupid. And here we are. Here is our male Moogle. Male. And another letter from Herdy. Wow, Herdy is... Well, here is the response, guys. I will grant you happiness, but think hard about what, you're, what happiness really means to you. So apparently, everybody who's been commenting about the happiness part, then you know, uh, I, I've seen a couple, which is pretty hilarious. Um, wow, guys, you know, your grant, your grant, your wish will be granted, man. Herdy is God. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm thinking. Why not? And I'll send this guy another Phoenix down because I don't really need Phoenix downs because this boss was actually pretty pathetic. Um, if you guys are a huge fan of the boss, then I really do apologize. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to badmouth the boss or anything, but man, oh man, this, the boss was actually kind of pathetic. I don't wanna. I'm not gonna lie, okay? So I'm gonna give this guy a Diamond Door or a. Uh, we'll give him Eternal Armor. We don't really need that stuff. And we are ready to go. And this has been the end of FFCC for Kono Crack. Next time will be uh, FFCC at Revenant Ra with the Lil T. I believe Lil, the Lil T so far is my weakest of, out of all the bunch, so it'll be interesting how to it'll be interesting to see how I fare against his boss. Defeat the enemies with focus attacks. Hey, I I technically didn't, but okay, yeah, whatever. 202 is pretty low for this area to be uh, just saying. But we got what we wanted. We got a Majolner and the main Gosh. I should be taking on defense, but since I'm making uh, Hayaku another glass cannon, a physical glass cannon in this case, I think we're just going to stick with uh, only attack items because the boss only caused like two, uh, a whole heart, which isn't much. So, Alright guys, next time on Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, we're going to be playing Rebenate Raw with the Lilti Mono. And I'll also be doing some little flashy flashback editing there, so... I'll see you guys there, and I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Uh, if there's any criticism, or if there isn't, or if there's anything that you guys have a huge complaint about, then let me know in the comments and, or in the, in the message. So, I'll see you guys next time. Um, uh, have a good one.